Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're into insane LEGO builds and love seeing how we can push these sets to their absolute limits, you're in the right place. So today, I'm diving into one of the biggest challenges I've set for myself yet. Making the LEGO Technic Leaper LR13000 Crawler Crate more like the real version. I've been thinking about this ever since my previous comparison video, and today we're finally going to bring this bad boy up to spec. So let's get started. So a little while ago, I made a video comparing the LEGO Technic Leaper LR13000 to the real life crane. And honestly, while the LEGO version is super cool, like don't get me wrong, it's definitely lacking some of that real world detail that makes the actual Leaper LR13000 such a beast of a machine. Since that video, it's been bugging me. I kept thinking, man, how could I make this Lego set more realistic? How can I bring it closer to what the real crane looks like? And that's what today is all about. Now, here's the thing. The Lego set is already massive, right? We're talking over 4,000 pieces. But when you look at the real crane, especially those photos in the instruction manual, the LEGO version does not line up with what we see in the real world. The LEGO crane has this almost toy-like vibe to it, so I've decided to take matters into my own hands, mod the set, make it bigger, better, and more true to life. Alright. So here's the game plan. My goal is to modify this LEGO set in a way that brings it closer to the actual Leaper LR13000. We're going to focus on three main areas, the boom, the counterweights, and the overall proportions of the crane. Each of these areas is crucial to making it look and function more like the real thing. When you look at the photo in the instruction, it's clear that LEGO was trying to give us a hint of what the real crane is like, but honestly, that picture and the actual build do not match up at all. It's like they give us an IKEA version of the crane. Like, come on LEGO, what are you doing? First up, the boom. In the real Leaper crane, the boom is massive. It's long, it's tall, and it can lift crazy amount of weight. But when you build the LEGO version, you notice the boom is a little underwhelming, right? So we're going to make some changes. I've already ordered extra boom pieces from Bricklink to extend the length, and we're going to add those in today. Here's the thing, LEGO Technic is all about mechanics, and the boom plays a huge part in the functionality of the set. But the boom just doesn't cut it when compared to the real machine. The extra length is going to give us that towering presence the real crane has. It's going to look so much more impressive when it's fully extended. And, bonus, it'll handle bigger loads better, too. Alright, next we've got the counterweights. Now, this is one of those areas where the real crane and the LEGO version differs the most. The actual Leaper LR13000 uses these huge, heavy, massive counterweights at the back of the crane to balance out the massive loads it lifts. The LEGO set though, well, let's just say the counterweights in the set are a little lacking. So I've gone ahead and made some custom modifications to the back of the crane. We're going to extend the counterweight area out more, which makes it longer, and add some serious weight. So I've already gone ahead and made some custom modifications to the back of the crane. We're going to extend the counterweight area, make it longer, and add some serious weight to it. I've already filled a container with rocks, which, yeah, isn't exactly Lego, but hey, sometimes you gotta get creative, right? The extra weight is going to make this crane not only look more realistic, but actually function better too. You'll be able to handle the increased boom length without tipping over. Let me tell you, it's going to be a game changer for the balance of this model. Finally, we've got the overall proportions of the crane. One of the things that it really bothered me about the LEGO set was how some parts 
don't line up size-wise compared to the real thing. In particularly, the way the base of the crane is structured. If you look at the real crane, it's much more solid, more robust. So what I'm gonna do is reinforce some of the parts of the build. I'm talking about beefing up the base, making sure its supports are stronger, and just giving the whole thing a more solid industrial feel. This isn't just about aesthetics either, it's about functionality. When we lengthen the boom and add those heavier counterweights, we need the base to be able to support all the extra weight and movement. So adding more strength to the base is a must. All right, so enough talking, let's get building. First up, we're going to install the extra boom pieces. These are going to extend the boom, well, quite a bit. I've got a ton of extra sections that are gonna add some serious height to this crane. So let's snap those into place. Next, we've got the counterweight modification. Now, this part is a super important because without the extra weight at the back, the crane will not balance with the extended boom. I've added a container filled with rocks to act as the counterweights. Not the most glamorous solution, but it works. And honestly, when you see how much better the crane performs with this extra weight, you'll see why it was necessary. Finally, we're going to reinforce the base and tweak the proportions. It, this part is about making the crane look more solid and realistic. It's not the most exciting step, but it's one of the most important. We need this crane to be able to support all the extra modifications we've made, and this will do the trick. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The crane is finally complete with all the modifications. And let me tell you, it's a beast. Just look at the size of that boom. It's so much closer to the real Leaper crane now. The counterweight, the proportions, the overall size, it all just looks and feels so much more like the real deal. I'm so excited with how this turned out. It's one thing to be able to build a Lego set as it's designed, but when you can take it a step further and make it more to the real world machine, that's when the magic really happens. So there you have it, my modified Lego Technic Leaper LR13000 crawler crate. More like the real life version than ever before. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the process and learning a thing or two about the mod you can make on your own sets. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss more epic builds like this, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next build.